So I am super excited about this video because in this video, we are going to take you to the best beach to visit if you are in Central Florida. So you're gonna wanna make sure you stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are called Grateful Glamper because we like to think of something that we are grateful for each and every day and practice gratitude. Why don't you think of something that maybe you're thankful for today and drop it in the comment below. I am so excited about this video because I am total beach tribe. You'll have to let us know if you're kind of beach tribe or mountain tribe but part of the reason that we decided to have our home base in the central florida area was because we love the beach we love the ocean we love being on the water and so today we are going to show you the best place to check out if you are planning on spending any time in florida this winter at all this particular beach is totally a locals beach it's pretty much a hidden gem. You probably haven't heard of it before. So we're gonna take you with us today and show you where it is, how to get there, some of the best places to park. And we're pretty excited because we've got a few products today that make beach life way easier. And we're gonna be sharing those with you too. So let's get going. So we are here at Ponce Inlet. Now, Ponce Inlet is not really a beach that people know much about because it doesn't have beach in the name. So most of the times when people come and they start looking for a beach to go to, they Google, you know, closest beach or something of that nature. Well, all of the beaches come up like Daytona Beach and New Smyrna Beach, which are in the general vicinity of where we are. This doesn't come up because it doesn't have beach in the name. So Ponce Inlet is just south of Daytona Beach and north of New Smyrna Beach. This is our go-to spot for coming to the beach because we love it. The water's super clear. There's a beautiful jetty. I mean, you're just gonna have to stay tuned and see. Little change of plans because we were equipped today to park right next to the water. We've got our new Blue Eddy power station with us to power our set power mini fridge. We were planning on just spreading out here right on the water line. And it didn't happen today because the sand at the particular moment is a little too soft and they're not letting anybody on without a four-wheel drive vehicle. And wouldn't you know it, we didn't bring the Jeep today, but we brought the minivan. So slight change of plans. We're going to just backpack the paddle boards and carry the boogie boards down to the water and then get set up to do some paddle boarding down there versus parking right on the water. So normally when we come, we actually do park in this area on purpose because there are nice showers for after we're done. We can rinse everything off and use the bathroom, change clothes. So this is usually our go-to parking spot. So if you come and you don't have a four wheel drive or just you know want to come hang out, this is actually a great place to park, which is just right down from where the lighthouse is. So we're gonna backpack these down there and take you down there and show you a little bit of the beach at Ponce Inlet. <laughs>
You are doing a mighty fine job there, miss. I read the owner's manual before we even did this that specifically said a little pin needed to be in the down position for inflation and in the up position for deflation. It's crucial that the pin is in the right position so we don't have those whoopsies. The pin just didn't pop up, so I had to kind of push down on the pin a little bit to kind of loosen it up. So now let's see once we take the pump off if it lets the air out again. We'll see, I don't know. I hope not because this is quite the effort. Okay, so it's a moment of truth. Let's see if this works. No, no. <laughs> Success! Victory! So this particular beach is super popular with a lot of surfers that are in the central Florida area. And we came out here today and there's actually a surf competition going on for younger kids. So they're kind of having their awards ceremony behind me right now, but super place to come if you want to get in some wave action, but also if you just enjoy watching other people surf that are really good, this is the spot that you want to come to. When we go to the springs and we'll be taking these to like the springs, I'm sure it'll be easier than when you've got like this going on. The landing, Eddie! Look at your hat! Oh, that was priceless. You've got an advantage. Whoa! The water is gorgeous today, which in the summer months is pretty much what we've seen here at Pont is that with the jetty being where it is, it just really keeps this water super crystal clear and filtered. So it's part of the reason we love coming to this beach here. There's an ice cream truck. What, what do you guess? My daughter's running up to it. What, do you, oh, what are you doing? Coming up here. Why were you running up here? Um, are you going to? I was, I was thinking about it. I, should we? Yeah. Don't tell mom. I don't think she'll. I think she can see us. Can she? Oh, oh, oh! She just crashed over there. Okay, let's see. Play them. Push. that this unlocks if the keys are close. So I uh, like just, just automatically unlocked because I'm standing close to it. And then I literally just keep my keys up here. <laughs> so you're gonna climb so in and get the keys. Now I have to get the keys. Unlock. Now nice. I gotta get the keys. And I gotta cross the, the van. This is entertaining for sure. To get the keys out of here. Got them? They're in here. Ugh. This is so awkward. <laughs> it's a good awkward thing. but entertaining. But I'm somewhat, somewhat flexible. Somewhat flexible. Oh. There. Something smells like skunk. So one of the things that we love about parking here is our showers. So we can just shower and change because it's going to be about an hour drive to get back to where our home base is. So shower, put on non wet sandy clothes before we go home. Plus the showers that are here are perfect because we can shower off the gear from all the sand. 
load it right into the van, which is just steps away. So another reason we do like parking here when we're not parking on the beach. So we made it to the van in just the nick of time. It is now pouring rain outside. So perfect, perfect timing for the day at the beach today. So a few things we wanna make sure that we talk about before we end this video is the Blue Eddy Power Station. We are super stoked. You guys are gonna be seeing this in many more videos to come because we've been looking for a power station for a while that we can have just with you know all the things that you have to charge anymore. You really need power um, off grid. And so we're super excited that we had that today and many more times to come our fridge from set power which has come in handy more times than we can count and then the new paddle boards that were sent to us by crew in so we'll put links in the description below for all three of those items because those were all must-haves for today's visit to the beach So we're unloading the van, just got home, and we have this running the portable fridge pretty much all day. And we are still at 61% on the battery. So that's great. I'm pretty super impressed with this Blue Eddy power station. And uh, we'll be putting this to the test some more, but first test performed awesome. <laughs> Okay. 